what's this? As Jack Skellington once said, people of the world, friends and relatives, this is the guitar tutorial for the Radiohead song, Alien, uh, Alien, shoot, uh, Paranoid Android. Guys, I'm afraid to do this because I'm in a weird mood because I just watched the entire animated music video all the way through for this song. Also, it's going to be hard. I'm afraid. I'm terrified. I'm exhilarated and exhausted. First thing you have to do is be in standard tuning, and also the second thing you have to do is not have a capo. People of the world, friends and relatives, I like to do, you know, there's that little weird, like, hospital sounding beeping at the very beginning, just for poops and pibbles. I like to play that on guitar, so just sixth fret, second string from the bottom, and palm mute it over here, just take this part of your hand, gently put it on the string there, and just go one, two, three. Four. That's like extra credit. It's like a bonus assignment. You only have to do that if your grade is suffering and you need something to improve it. After that, we get to get into the song proper, guys. We need to learn this intro riff. In my humble opinion, oh so humble, the intro is the hardest part of the song, which is also the same thing that happens during the verse, so let's just get into it. Put your middle finger on the eighth fret of the top string, but now this next part is crucial. You need to push on the top string, but your finger needs to lean down and just touch the second string from the top to mute it. Then put your ring finger on the eighth fret of the third string from the bottom, the G string. Then put your pinky on the eighth fret of the second string from the bottom, the B string. Even more important than what your middle finger is doing, your pinky needs to lean down and just touch the bottom string and mute it. So it should just sound like this. Like that. We've got those two muted strings in there, people of the world, friends and relatives. This is the C minor chord, but the truth is we're not really going to talk about chord names much in this song because it's a, mostly just like crazy versions of chords. Uh, anyway, C minor, here's what you're going to do. You're going to play the top string, then you're going to play the top string again, then you're going to play just the second string from the bottom. So that was top, top, second from the bottom. If you watch Tom York play this, it doesn't look like he's going and very carefully going and playing notes. It looks like he's just going like this. It looks like he's just strumming. We want to keep a strumming attitude the whole time. Now remember, our top string is muted. So if you just strum up on the bottom couple strings, we're only hearing that second string from the bottom. So here's my challenge to you on this day. You're gonna go down, down, up. But when you come up, don't worry about aiming for that second string from the bottom. Just kinda, let's go, I'm hitting that bottom string, guys. I can't make this any more clear. Watch my pick. You see that? This bottom one doesn't make any noise. All right, I'll move on. So just do this with me. Just go down, down, up. Huh. Hey. Oh. Great job. Okay. So we've got down, down, up. Then uh, this is where it gets, in my opinion, well, once again, the opinion is of the humble variety. This part's a little tricky. You're gonna strum down on the top string, and then we wanna try to strum up on the third string from the bottom. And then immediately down on the top, and then immediately up on the third string from the bottom again. So that was down, down, up, down, up, down, up, one, to give it a try down down up down up down up that was great i need to tell you you're not gonna hit the exact strings that you want every single time but can i tell you a secret thumb york doesn't either he's just trying to keep the rhythm of the song going and get as close as possible if you hit an extra string if you hit the wrong string it's gonna be fine guys after we did our down down up down up down up you're gonna keep your ring finger and pinky in the same spot, but get rid of your middle finger and put your pointer finger on the sixth fret of the top string, people of the world. Then play down on the top string, play up on the third string from the bottom again, then down on the top, and then up on the second string from the bottom, which as we've discussed means you can just go ahead and play the bottom two strings. So we just did top string, third from the bottom, top string, second from the bottom. Then you're gonna do top, third from the bottom, top, third from the bottom. So once we moved our pointer finger to six, this is what we've done. We did top, third from the bottom, top, second from the bottom, top, third from the bottom, top, third from the bottom. If we play it a little bit faster, it sounds like this. One, two, play with me. 
Remember, you don't have to be perfect. Both with your guitar playing and just other parts of your life. Now, while you're most frustrated with this difficult part of the song, and I'm feeling especially shouty, people of the world, let me tell you that I would recommend you subscribe to this channel because I have so many Radiohead songs. Exit music for a movie, the song of the Iron Lung, um, bending, high and dry, and also caramel police. Also, go ahead. Go to marinmusic.com, sign up for my newsletter so you, I'll tell you what songs are coming out in advance, guys. It's so much fun. It's gonna be a blast and a half. Link in the description. We have to finish this stupid verse. We've barely even started it. Let's play it from the beginning. We're going, we're gonna go slowly. We're gonna go. One, two, buckle my shoe. I know it sounds a little corny, like it doesn't quite sound right just now. It's because we gotta get that, we gotta get into the upbeat groove of it. That's a stupid, what was that dance I just did? Then get rid of your pointer finger and put your middle finger on the eighth fret of the second string from the top. Ring finger and pinky are still staying in the same spot. I recommend you have your thumb come up over the top. Just touch the top string just to mute it. Don't push on it, just mute it. Guys, you're gonna play that second string from the top. Then you're gonna play the second string from the top again, then up on the second from the bottom, then back to the second string from the top, and then play the third string from the bottom. So that was. At this point in time, you, uh, you're gonna play second string from the top again, and then third string from the bottom again. So that was. One, two, just do that. I missed the first note, that was unfortunate. One, two, here we go. Now this next part might be my favorite part to play. You're gonna get rid of your middle finger, keep these two in the same spot still, play the second string from the top open, then you're gonna aim for third string from the bottom, and then second string from the bottom. I'm going, three, four, here we go. Sounds pretty hideous, right? After those three notes, put your pointer finger on six of the top string again, play the top string, and then play third from the bottom and second from the bottom. So that little part right there was one, two, just do that part. I think we're halfway through the verse, but it's gonna get easier from here on out because now we've got the whole rhythm thing going on. Guys, let's play that first half. Starting from the eight, eight, eight. One, two, here we go. Great, it's time for the second half of the verse. Guys, put your middle finger on three of the top string, put your ring finger on three of the third string from the top, and your pinky on three of the second string from the bottom. This was our C minor chord. Now we're doing like the same shape, but it's a G minor chord because we're on the third fret. Guys, you're gonna go like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. I did top, top, second from the bottom, top, third from the bottom, top, third from the bottom. You may have noticed that is the same picking slash strumming pattern that we do for the very first chord of the song. We're just doing it down here now. So it's... At this point in time, get rid of your middle finger. You're gonna play second string from the top open, then play third from the bottom, and then second from the bottom. Then put your pointer finger on the first fret of the second string from the top. Play second string from the top, then third from the bottom, second from the bottom. So that little part there was bow chicka, bow chicka. Very similar to when we did this. Bow chicka, bow chicka. But now we're just doing it over here, guys. Let's play starting from this chord right here. The G minor, one, two, here we go. Bow, go, bow, bow. Guys, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. 
Keep these two fingers, your pinky and ring finger, in the exact same spot they've been the whole time. Put your pointer finger on the second fret of the third string from the top and put your middle finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. Yes, it's true. Your ring finger and your middle finger are currently on the same string. That's okay. It's going to pay off in a moment. Mute the top string with your thumb if you can handle it. Mute the second string from the top as well. On this chord, you're going to strum down, down, up, down. One, two, here we go. Down, down, up, down. Then immediately, you're going to get rid of your ring finger and strum up, down. So that's down, down, up, down, up, down. One, two, here we do. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Great job. Then you're going to strum. There's a tiny little pause, just very brief. You strum down on this chord again. Then get rid of your middle finger and strum up, down. We only have two fingers left now, just pointer and pinky. We've got down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Three, four. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Great job. I threw my pick. I hit my knee and I hit my guitar and my pick went flying and I have to pee and there's so much of this song left. After you strum up, down on that two finger chord, you're just gonna strum down, down, up on it. So the whole thing together is down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. One, two, here we go. And down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. At this point, we go right back to this guy, our G minor chord. So the great news is your pinky gets to stay in the same spot. Your ring finger goes on the third fret right above your pinky and then bring your middle finger up to the third fret on the top string. Guys, we're gonna do the exact same thing we just did again. So that means we go down, down, up, up, down, All of that, we just literally do it a second time in a row. How do you feel about this news? We are ready to play the entire second half of the verse all the way through, starting from our first G, G, G minor chord, very slowly. One, two, three, four. We did it. We learned the whole verse. Let's play the entire verse from up here very slowly all the way through. And the rest of the song, I think, is going to be a little bit easier. One, two, here we go. And down, 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 down. those things where when you get used to playing it fast, playing it slow gets disorienting. I get discombobulated. Guys, for the introduction, we just do that whole riff one time. Then we get to the verse, and for the verse, we play that whole entire riff two times in a row. That's actually not entirely true. For the verse, we're going to play it 1.75 times, otherwise known as one and three quarters times. Here's what I mean by that. You play it once all the way through. Great. Then the second time through, we do all our stuff up here, normal. I'm just gonna keep going. Normal, 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 normal. Normal, normal, bound. Normal, normal, normal. And then we're done. 
That's all we do. We don't go back and do this part again. We just, we end right after the first strummy part and that's how you do the verse. Then we go to the next section, which I'm gonna call the pre-chorus. That's debatable what to call this part. You call it an interlude, you could call it a chorus maybe, but I'm gonna call it the pre-chorus. And it's when he sings, what's this, what's this, what's this? The what's this section is as follows. It goes. You know it, you know that part, look. We need to go back to our G minor chord, the same one we used in the second half of the verse. Middle finger, third fret on the top, then the next one's muted, next one's open, then third fret on the third string from the bottom, third fret, second string from the bottom. Unlike in the verse, however, we do not want to mute the bottom string. We want the bottom string to be open, which actually makes this chord into a G minor six chord. Play the top string, then play the second string from the bottom, and then strunk up on the bottom string. That was a mix of strum and pluck and some other chicken noises. Unboard chicken noises in my head. Then pluck up on the second string from the bottom, and then down on the third string from the bottom. Then just do a quick little strum up where you just hit some random strings in the middle, doesn't even matter. Then you go back up to the top string and we play that whole thing again. So that was bong, go bang, go bong, go bong. Go bang, go bong, go. Great job. We have completed the G minor six part of this. Then what you're going to do is you are going to get rid of all your fingers except for your pinky. Put your middle finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. And then we need to play the first fret of the top string. I will allow you to use your pointer finger. But what I think might be a wiser choice is to use your third thumb to play that first fret on the top string. We do the exact same picking we just did a moment ago. Then get rid of your thumb and go to an E7 chord. Guys, that's top string open, middle finger second fret, second string from the top, ring finger second fret, third from the top, pointer finger first fret, third string from the bottom, then your pinky stays on that third fret of the second to bottom string. Same picking. After you do this one twice, you're gonna go back to the G minor six chord, do that one twice again, go back to this one. This is like a weird, this is like an F six chord, by the way. Do this one twice again, then go back to the E seven and do it four times in a row. And that completes this part of the song. Let's play that whole part all the way through, starting from the G minor six. One, two, three, four. Then switch. Then switch to the E7. Back to G minor 6. Then to the weird F. Then go to the E7. We're staying on this one a little bit longer. Remember, two extra times. Oh. And then right there, at the end of the fourth time playing the E7, you're gonna go like this. So on the top string, I just ran up to 10 and I played 10, nine. There we go. That 10, nine right there sets us up to go back into the verse of the song. I, this is not an F6, it's an F major 13, guys. Get it right. Doesn't matter. We go back to the verse and we play that 1.75 times again. And then we go back into the part we just learned, the what's this section. I can't decide if it's the chorus or the pre-chorus. So I'm just calling it the what's this section. We do that exactly the same. And then that takes us to the ruckus part of the song, the noisy part. I don't know if it's the chorus or if it's the bridge. I'm gonna call it the bridge. I'm gonna call it the noisy bridge. We have the noisy bridge and we have the soft bridge. So noisy bridge is this part. I 
got that last part wrong. Guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn it. Play five on the top string with your ring finger and see if you can mute the second string from the top and strum down, down, up. So the reason I want you to mute the second string from the top is so we can be kind of loosey-goosey with our strumming over here and not worry about it. So it's down, down, up, then play three on the second string from the top and strum down and then go right back to five on the top string and strum up. So that's bam, bo, do, ba, do. One, two, here we go. Bam, bo, do, ba, do. One more time, gang. Bam, bo, do, ba, do. Then with your middle finger, play four on the top string. We're gonna go up, up, up. So bam, bo, do, ba, do. Up, up, up. And then on the second string, play three and then play five. Still on the second string, so that's boom, 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 boom. One, two, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Can we do that four times? Kind of. That's not entirely true. Let's play it four times, then I'll talk about what I'm talking about. One, two, here we go. live that's what he does i've listened to it that's what happens but in the actual album he goes like this he does that thing once then he goes what happened there is they did the first part exactly the same five 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 three five then he plays four on the top string just one time and then he goes like this on the second string from the top he goes five three then five five on the top string and then does it again so that's like this five 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 three five four five three five five three five five, five three pen one two what am i doing i mean that part sounds good you could do it like that it's what's on the album i choose to just do this Four times, just like just like he does on the thing with the stuff. Okay, this is great. This is really good teaching. Guys, then we have to go to the seven four part, where it's instead of counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not a bar chord, but it's almost as bad as a bar chord, depending on who you talk to. Guys, your thumb is gonna play eight on the top string. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. Your pointer finger plays eight on the second string from the bottom. Middle finger plays nine third string from the bottom. Ring finger plays 10 on the third string from the top. Another thing that needs to happen is with your thumb, you need to mute the second string from the top and have it be muted. On this chord, which is indeed a C chord, you're gonna go down, down, up. Then with your pinky, play 10 on the third string from the bottom and strum down. Then get rid of your pinky and strum up. So that was boom. One, two, there we go. One more time, guys. Then you're gonna just relax your fingers and strum down on just the muted strings. And you're as you're playing those muted strings, you're gonna move your hand down this way to get ready for the next chord. Your thumb is gonna be on the fourth fret of the top string, pointer finger on four, second from the bottom, middle finger five, third from the bottom, ring finger six, third from the top. And with your thumb, you once again wanna mute that second string from the top. This is the exact same shape that we had up here. We we'll just move to the fourth fret, which makes it into an A flat chord. You're gonna strum up, up, down on that. So that was down, down, up, 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 down. Then take this exact same shape, slide it one, two frets over. So now you're on six with your thumb and pointer finger, seven with your middle finger, and eight with your ring finger, and just strum down on this one single solitary time. Then we go back up to eight and start the whole thing over again. Goes like this. We're gonna do it three times all the way through. Then we start it a fourth time. But 
then instead of going down to the fourth fret, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna switch to a full on bar chord. You're gonna have pointer finger barring everything on eight, ring finger playing the 10th fret on the second string from the top, pinky playing 10th fret, third string from the top, and middle finger playing ninth fret, third string from the bottom. Here's a little secret though. I know I said you have to bar everything. You don't actually have to bar. Make sure your pointer finger is on the top string and make sure your pointer finger is muting the bottom two. That actually sounds a little better. Guys, and you're gonna go like this. You're gonna strum down, then slide it over to seven, strum down, then, what do you do next? Then you slide it down to six, and then you're gonna play four, just on the top string. So that was one, two, play that. So this whole ruckus section of the song that we have so far goes like this, starting from here. We go, I know, this is awful, I know, I know. One, two, three, four. Again, guys, we do that whole entire thing, not once, not twice, not five times, but four times in a row while they're singing going on and everyone's having a great time. Then we do it one more time while the guitar solo is happening. If you think that I'm going to show you that crazy Johnny Greenwood guitar solo, then you are correctly wrong. I'm not going to do it. Not going to teach it to you. He's doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I can't do that. I can't do it. There's that one part where he goes. That part's pretty cool. I probably should take the time to learn that part, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. So you just play that exact same all that stuff one more time and then after you do it that final time we just go to a big old f chord f is like this guys thumb plays first fret on the top string ring finger plays three on the second string from the top pinky plays three third from the top middle finger plays two on the third from the bottom and then your pointer finger plays one on the second string from the bottom you just give that one big strum and that just it sustains through time and then we get to the actual bridge the most depressing part of any song that any human being has ever written or listened to it goes like this it goes Ooh, I forget. Well, I know it. I just don't remember it at the moment. Let's learn it. Guys, my battery's running low. Start with a bar chord. It's perfect, right? This is so exciting. Everyone loves this part of the video. Guys, pointer finger bars the third fret on the bottom five strings. Top string must be muted with your pointer finger. The middle finger plays four second string from the bottom. Ring finger plays five third string from the top. Pinky plays five third string from the bottom. You're just gonna, on each of these chords, we're just gonna strum down, down, down. Now that's the strumming. Down, down, down. A great job, guys. C minor chord. Then we go to a G over B. Pointer finger plays two on the second string from the top. Ring finger plays three second string from the bottom. Try to mute the top string. You can use your thumb. You can use your middle finger. I don't care. Down, 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 up. Then we're going to a G minor over B flat, guys. Just keep your ring finger on that third fret. Move your pointer finger to the first fret of the second string from the top. Then we go to a plain old classic A chord. Guys, you probably know this one. I use these three fingers. I do middle finger, second fret, third string from the top, ring finger, second fret, third from the bottom, pinky, second fret, second string from the bottom, A. Then we go to a D minor, one of my least favorite chords. It's not hard, I just don't like it. Pointer finger plays one on the bottom, ring finger plays three second string from the bottom, middle finger plays two third string from the bottom. Mute the top one, or what I do, I do top two strings. I just like muting stuff with my thumb. I know I'm talking a lot. I, 
I, oh, if I broke something. Well, the thing is, I literally have 22% battery power, and I know from previous experience when it reaches about 16%, it starts getting all choppy, and so I'm just... Uh, but I don't want to stop and charge it and then do it later because that would be a whole thing. But I think this is really good use of my battery life. D minor, then back to the A, then back to the D minor. And then guys, we're gonna go to a D minor over C. So what you have to do here is you have to get rid of your ring finger and put your pinky on that third fret of the second string from the bottom. Or I suppose you could just play the D minor like this the whole time and that would be acceptable. But when we get to this D minor over C, you're gonna take your ring finger and put it on the third fret of the second string from the top. And then what happens? Uh, well, let's play that first part. One, two, from the C minor, here we go. Oh, I do use my pinky for the D minor. Great, now we get to the miserable part. You're all gonna love it. Guys, we go up to this guy. No, this right here. Remember this from uh, the noisy part of the song? You don't. It's fine. I don't care. Put your thumb on the sixth fret of the top string, pointer finger six, second string from the bottom, middle finger seven, third from the bottom, ring finger third from the top. Once again, yeah, it's great. You have to mute the second string from the top. This is a B flat chord. Then this next thing seems so stupid. You're like, that's not what happens, but I promise this is how Tom York plays it. I've seen him do it. I've seen him in person do it. Not like, it's not like he came over and showed me, but in just, yeah, I saw Radiohead in concert like three times, no big deal. Saw him at Coachella. I know, it's cool. I know they played Creep at that show. No big deal. I see Radiohead play Creep all the time. This is the second time I bragged about it on my YouTube channel. It's really cool. You can tell I have a lot of good things to brag about, but I'm bragging about that twice. The next, the thing that I'm trying to say is you're gonna put your thumb on the fifth fret of the top string, put your pointer finger on the fifth fret of the third string from the bottom, middle finger, fifth fret, second string from the bottom, and then ring finger, seventh fret, third string from the top. Look at that ridiculous thing. Guys, it's an F over A. And it looks ridiculous. You could use your pinky if you want. I don't know, I use my ring finger. Then, though, here's the good news. We just take that exact same shape and move it two frets over. So now this right here would be, what is this, like an E flat over G? You know, it's, it's inconclusive. If this is an E flat over G or if it's a G minor chord, it doesn't matter. Sounds like, I think it's a G minor. Then we go back to our F chord that we used briefly earlier. Pointer finger one on the bottom, middle finger two on the third string from the bottom. Ring finger plays three second from the top. Pinky plays three third from the top. Thumb plays one on the top string. Then we're gonna go to a plain old regular E chord. That's top string open, then second fret, second fret, pointer finger. I think we stay on that chord longer than other ones. I don't know. Let's see. Take it from this part. Two, three, four. Yeah, we do. We do it twice on the E. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Then you're going to go back to A and we're going to go like this. Down down, down, up, and then your pinky scoots into the third fret and you go down, and then you bring it back and go down, down, up. So this, let's guys, we, those like, whatever, what was that, eight chords? No, that was like 16 chords. Let's count them this time. We're gonna play through it and I'm gonna count all the chords. But what I, what I wanted to say about this is you just play those multiple chords four times in a row for this slow part of the song. Let's do it once. We'll count it. It's going to be like Sesame Street. It's going to be great. One, two, start with the C. I'll give you an extra second. I know you're not at the C minor yet. It's fine. Okay, do you have it? One, two, and a C minor. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, sorry, ten, 
11, 12, 13, then we sound this one again, then the A. So it's like kind of 14 chords, but it's kind of, it's 14 chords, but it's 16 parts. What? So that's the bridge. And then after the bridge, what happens? Do you want to guess? We go back to this. The ruckus part of the song. And I do not recall, nor did I write down how many times we play that part of the song, but I'm gonna say two. We're gonna do it two times. And then at the end of the second time, we go. And that's it, we're done. And we're done with this video too. I'm not playing through the whole song. That'd be insane. Do you know how long this video is already?